Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a customer servers plugin to your Shopify store in 2023. Customer servers is an essential part of e-commerce business and having a customer servers plugin on your Shopify store can help you provide better support to your customer. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So the first thing that you would like to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave, but of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. As an example, Google Chrome, Opera, Brave like me, uh, Firefox, or I don't know, any other browser you're using. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this uh, URL section and simply type shopify.com and hit the enter button. That should take you to the Shopify main screen or home screen right away. Of course, if you have an account, make sure to go and click at login here at the top right corner. Once you click on it, you'll be able to enter your email. And of course, you can even log in with your Apple account or Facebook account or Google account. If you don't have an account, you have to simply click at this get started if you are new to Shopify. Simply, you can create a Shopify ID by email, Apple, Facebook, or Google. Of course, by proceeding, you agree to the terms and conditions and privacy and policy. So make sure to read them both before you do anything so you don't have any conflicts in the future. So here for me, I'm just going to click at continue with email. And of course, here, I will have to enter my email. So here, when I finish my things, as you can see, I will be good to create my Shopify ID by clicking a simple click right here after I fill everything. Of course, I can save if I don't want to keep filling those one after the other, another. And of course, I can create a store right now if I want by simply clicking at this option. Of course, you can answer their questions if you want, or you can skip all of them if you don't want to get through this. Click on next, choose an account. It's going to be this. So now let's just wait for this until it loads. It should not take a lot of time. Here is it. It's loading right now. And here we are. Here is our account. We successfully created our account. And of course, you'll have to complete this setup guide if you want to start selling on Shopify. If you want, you'll have to add your first products, customize your online store, add pages to your store, organize your store navigation, then add a custom domain. And of course, name your store, then set up a payment provider. So as we said, the beginning of this tutorial is we would like to add a customer service plugin to our Shopify store. So the first step to add in a customer service plugin to your Shopify store is to choose a plugin that's fair to your needs. There are many customer service plugins available for Shopify, each with its own sets of feature and pricing. Some popular option includes Georgias, Riamaze, and the Help Scout. Take some time to research and compare different plugins to find out that's what's right for you. So once you decided what you want, simply go to this left panel and click on apps. Once you do that, click on apps and sales channel settings. Then you'll have to click on this learn more about apps. Make sure to click on this apps option. This will open this pop-up for you. And of course, here you can learn more about apps. For us, we would like to click on the Shopify app store so we can get into the store to add our plugins or our apps. So here, of course, we'll have to check for the apps that we said we search about. Or you can even use one of these six apps that I can recommend to you. There is this Shopify inbox. Shopify, sorry, inbox. This is the one. As you can see, the price is free and it can help you with your customer service. As you can see, Shopify Inbox is a free messaging tool that lets you chat with customers as they shop. In fact, 70% of all inbox conversation are with shoppers making a purchase. While you chat, you use live customer information like products viewed, what's in their cards, and pass orders to tailor your message to your customer. 
You can even recommend products or offer discounts to increase order value and help customers faster with automated replies, packs, and a personal chat experience. Of course, you can use always the Shopify inbox. There is also the Tidio plugin, live chat and chatbots. It's also free plan available and additional charges may apply if you want to increase and get more features. Of course, Tidio is a customer experience platform that enable online stores to provide excellent customer service and turn passive visitors into active buyers. It has to use sales and support chatbots that increase revenue and immediately answers the most common questions of your customers. Managing all your customers' messages in one place makes Tidio a simple yet strong help desk solution for your team with dedicated Shopify features. It's even more efficient. There is also this parcel panel plugin. Parcel panel. It's going to be this one, sorry. It just. Yeah, this one, parcel panel order tracking. This will improve the customer satisfaction and boost your sales with a brand post purchase tracking experience. This will track your orders in real time and dear with exceptions before customers complain, auto send shipping notifications to keep customers informed. Of course, you can read all of those because I will not have to go through all of this. Of course, this is free plan available seven days Free trial additional charges may apply. That means it's free. There is a free plan and there is the paid plan. And if you want the paid plan, you will get seven day free trial if you want. And of course, the free, the paid plan will contain more features. Also, there is the track one, two, three plugin, which is very good as well. And as you can see, the price is free. All in one shipment to track and page management help you boost sales and improve work efficiency. There is also the after ship plugin. Let's just write after ship and we want this order tracking. As you can see, there is a free plan, of course, available. And there is also a seven day free trial if you want to get with a paid plan and it will contain more features as well. This will proactive order tracking that delights your customers and reduce the Wismo and optimize delivery. And the last one that I can recommend to you is powerful contact from a builder. We will have, it's going to be this one. Yeah. And as you can see, there is free plan available as well if you want to use just the free one. And you can get seven day free trial if you want to get the paid plan. This will build your contacts us form or custom form without any technical knowledge required. So what I provide you with, you can choose whatever suits you and you can add your app to your Shopify so you can get your customer support. And once you set up the customer service plugin, you can start using it to provide the support to your customers depending on the plugin you've chosen. You may have access to features like live chat, email support, and social media integration. So make sure to train your support team on how to use the plugin effectively to provide the best possible customer service. Many customer service plugins will allow you to customize the look and feel of your support channels. So take some time to customize your plugin to match your brand style and tone. This will help you create a consistent experience for your customers and make your support channels more recognizable. So that's going to be it. That's it for the video on how to add customer service plugin to your Shopify store. Remember that customer service is as an essential part of any e-commerce business and adding a customer service plugin to your Shopify store can help you provide a better support to your customers. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.